do I really believe God will meet all the needs I have? Do I really believe that? Many times I've said, oh, I believe God's got this. He can handle it. And then what I've done and not even a second later turned around and taken whatever that thing is and just wrestled with it. You know, it says in Philippians 4, 19, and my God will meet all of your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. And today I want to ask you, do you really believe God will meet your needs? Or are you like me and sometimes have said it, but then doubted? Today I want to encourage you with three things that we can release so that we can trust and speak out that we do believe God will meet our needs because it's true, he will meet our needs. Now, if you're a parent, I know you've probably said to your children once or a million times when they've said, oh, I need that toy or I need that candy. You're like, do you really need it or do you want it? And you go into that discussion. This is what I wanna tell you. I know God not only wants to meet your needs, he wants to give you your wants too. But first, we have to see how God provides. I heard this great sermon a couple weeks ago at my church where Pastor Wally had said that provision is that God will provide and that we need to see the how God will provide. So today I want to encourage you with three points on what we need to release so that we can match our statement to truth. The first thing we have to let go of is fear. Do you know people that hoard, they have a fear of not having enough? People that binge, Often, I can speak for myself as someone who's suffered from, you know, the binge eating disorder, that I often eat too much food because I'm a fearful that I won't have enough. Do you know that God is the God of more than enough and that we don't have to have fear, we have to have faith. And one way we can release fear is by speaking out faith and that we can speak out Philippians 4.19 in faith to, to fight where our fear is. The second thing we need to let go of is a fear of uncertainty. You know, so much in modern America, especially those of us that are blessed to live in the third world nation or in a first world nation, we've forgotten that a life with God is an adventure. And I was thinking about back in the 80s when I played Atari, which was my first video gaming system. And I used to play this game on my little joystick. Um, if you're younger than um, probably 25 Google joystick you'll know what that is it's a much more simple um, controller to play video games and I remember I'd take my joystick and play a game called pitfall and what I would do is I'd be this little adventurer and then there'd be a little rope that would swing and I'd have to time my jump just so and hit my little red button on my joystick to catch onto the rope to swing over and each screen brought a new adventure and I was just thinking you know as Christians Sometimes we worry about what three screens ahead, whether it's going to be a sand trap or a, something else to jump over or a lizard or a snake to fight. Why can't we just focus right now? We'll just focus on what's our adventure in this screen today, knowing that God will provide. If it's a rope we need to swing over the, the hurdle, that God will provide. So the first point is that we have to let go of fear. The second point is we have to let go of uncertainty. And then the third point, and maybe the most important, point is we have to let go of negative thinking. The opposite of negative is positive. And what we need to do is we need to speak out a positive confession and saying something like this. Um, I believe God will provide all the money to get out of debt. I believe God will do that. And then we'll speak that out and then say, um, oh, but if I worry some more and I fret and question whether God will really provide, you see, we're taking it back again. What we need to do is say a positive confession. Speak out something positive to the negative. Something like this. I believe God will help me get out of debt and live the life I want. Why I believe this is because God's track record is awesome. God's track, My track record may not be great, but God's track record kicks butt. So today I want to ask you, do you really believe God will provide? And if you're wrestling with it like I have many times in my life, Will you consider releasing fear, uncertainty, and the negative um, confessions and turn it into releasing faith and the positive confession? And remember that life with Christ is an adventure.